Hey guys, welcome back, Bolt Spider here, and today we're going to be going over the March 1st changes for the Duel Links tiers. Now, the ban list is around the way for Duel Links, and on Duel Links meta, they, get to, they are testing things before it comes out. So let's take a look at what there is. There are a lot of changes, so let's take a look. Tier 1, Water XYZ. Water XYZ is definitely, definitely pretty cool because of the release of a few cards. And overall, this looks very, very good. Territory of the Sharks makes all water monsters you control become 4 until the end of the turn. That is why Deep Sea Diva is so great. You normal summon her, summon an infantry, then you get an additional normal summon, and... Or you can summon out Marksman, depending on the situation. And then you can either go into Abyss Dweller or a Hope Woven. But overall, this is definitely a very good deck. Then we have the Tier 2s being Blue Eyes, Anamato, and Thunder Dragons. People already know about Thunder Dragons and Blue Eyes. Let's take a look at Anamato real quick. This is a deck that I kind of want to build. Because it has 3 Utopic Anamatopia, 2 Zubababan, the Gaga -ga -ga Goat, actually 3 of them. One head, one da -da -da dwarf, and one Gagaga -ga -ga Mancer on top of three sister. One Gagaga -ga -ga Bolt, two Trunade, two Offering to the Doom, three da -da -da Draw, and a Gagaga -ga -ga Wind. And the extra deck is so self explanatory because all of these are easily makeable because Gagaga -ga -ga Sister. And if you have a level four and, a level, and her, you can make a rank 6 easily. And after that, for a tier 3s, we have Cyber Dragon, Fire King, Invoked, Neos, Noble Knights, and Trimid. High potentials in Amazonas because one of their cards went to 3. And let's check out a couple of these that we haven't seen. The reason why Noble Knights dropped down so hard was because they balanced the skill balance it's where you cannot normal summon actually you cannot special summon or activate monster effects for the rest of the turn so we have fire kings here very self-explanatory they're running the one veil because they're running two cosmic cyclone two kite roid and so on and so forth i actually ran into this deck this deck is definitely interesting and overall pretty good then after that we have Cyber Dragon, very very simplistic of how it is. The one dragon, triple core, triple book of moon, triple fusion gate, triple fusion overload, triple fusion support, double storm, and double overflow. And the extra deck is so easy, so much easy to understand, because you would go Cyberload fusion, then fusion gate into a cyber end dragon or cyber twin or two rampages and fusion support very good card as well because it's an extra fusion spell so you go support or gate or fusion so overall that's actually very good and then we have trimids trimids are interesting because they're running balanced because they don't care about that drawback because they only care about their field spells Recycling each other out and getting out their big behemoth of a boss monster. Overall, this deck I have played in the actual game and I actually enjoyed it for a short time because it's definitely interesting in how all the cards interact with each other. Like, Dancer puts back a Trimid card and all your rocks gain 500 attack and it cycles out a field spell with a different name. Hunter is the one. If a face, you can um, normal summon a rock in addition to normal summon. And they all cycle out the field spells so you can get to different ones for different situations. And this is you target a sweat spell or trap card in the field, destroy it if a trimade card leaves the field. And then Sphinx is can go in tandem with Master. So if you open up Master, a Field Spell, and Sphinx, you have Lethal on the board. 
and this also gains 500 attack and defense for each field spell with a different name in your graveyard. Also, mouse user opponent controls cannot attack. Except this card. Excuse me. I just woke up. But overall, this deck is definitely interesting because it cycles through all your field spells. They only run the one fortress because kingdom and carrier are better. And having things like Treasure's Trap Hole, Pulse, and Canadia are very good because you can discard the extra field spells that you don't need from your hand or Pulse. But anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this informative video. And let's take a look at the high potential Amazonas real quick because, yep, Onslaught went to three. And overall, this looks like how it was back in the day, but now it has extra deck. So, anyways, I've been Bolt Spider. See you guys in the next video, and goodbye.